Okay, so I'm back for another one of our shipping videos today. Uh, Chloe filled in for me last week when I was uh, deep in the in the midst of trying to get our production back up and running again after uh, our time off. So a uh, nice selection of guitars going out today. Uh, some nice customs that have been coming through. And uh, it's kind of been a theme of custom guitars getting completed. Uh, things that I was working on during the, the lockdown and uh, then completed with our staff whenever they come back in again here. So uh, a big shout out actually to uh, the JR Porter who sent me this t-shirt. Uh, just arrived in today, so probably needs a little iron and uh, maybe I need to lose a few more pounds to fit in it perfectly. But thanks for that. Uh, he sent me a nice letter along with it. Um, just tell me a little bit about the history of the uh, William & Mary University uh, that he went to. And uh, so it's been really nice receiving some of these t-shirts over the last while. It's a really cool thing. We, we shipped him a couple of guitars recently and uh, it's just really nice to get this in return. Um, so first one is going out to Alan in California and uh, it's uh, X7 Coco Bolo. And uh, our X7 is our, our short scale parlor size guitar. Uh, these have actually been really popular over the last, um, the last couple of months. And I think people really love them in the summer season. People getting out traveling, going camping, that sort of thing. Having that smaller uh, carbon fiber guitar really, really just works well in that sort of environment. And uh, this one is uh, a little bit extra special with that Coco Bolo on there. And the beautiful Coco Bolo and the amber back and sides. So, uh, so I'm not sure what Alan has planned for it, uh, whether he's traveling with it or just using it every day um, at home, or uh, maybe he'll let us know on that. Um, so Niall in Dublin, and uh, this is uh, an X10 uh, level three, and uh, this is zebra wood. It's not a veneer we've used very often, but it's really striking. It's got these little uh, bird's eye details, kind of like the bird's eye maple, but with more color. Um, you know, it's got the, the dark blacks almost uh, in here as well as a light color, so it really has nice contrast to it. Really stands out well, and uh, an amber back and sides. So that one hasn't got too far to go compared to most of our guitars. Then we have uh, Edward in Maryland, and uh, he's gone for this X10. So it's the X10 in black carbon uh, with the level two pickup system, so that gets you the, the Crevo humbucker and the six individual piezo pickups. And then he's asked us to do um, some inlay work on it, something we've been starting to do recently. And uh, this is glow in the dark um, fret dots on the face and uh, also on the, on the side of the neck as well. So just a nice little extra feature. Um, another thing he's asked us to do was uh, we put the crystal ice finish on the back and sides. So that's the satin textured finish that we've done on here and um, he just preferred that to the glossy finish and then also a satin finish on the neck. So uh, some people prefer that satin finish on a neck just for the, the feel of it. So a nice combination on that. So next up we have uh, one going out to Seth and Andy in Mrs., uh, Minnesota. And uh, this is our X20 lefty. And actually it seems like we've been selling more lefties recently. Uh, maybe the word has finally got out that, uh, that we we are the, the only people, I think, in the world that do a left-handed carbon fiber guitar, and we're kind of proud of that. And uh, this has been custom designed um, right from the ground up as a really a, a mirror image of the, our standard X20. So you get all those contours and uh, all the benefits and features of the X20, but in left-handed. Oh, there are two lefties in today's video. Um, then Thomas in Indiana, he's got uh, Wow, just check that out. Uh, that almost surprised me as well. I forgot that we had the inlay in this one. Um, so it's a X20 nylon, and um, he's added this select series inlay. So this is the inlay that we did in the March select series, and uh, it just really is quite special on that with that nylon and the green color. And uh, it's got the slotted headstock uh, that I've hand carved back a few weeks ago. Uh, the hand carved bridge and uh, just that beautiful green uh, really is an impressive combination uh, as well as the fact that it's a great sound in playing nylon guitar uh, nice one Th thomas uh, then patrick in ohio first of two 12 strings uh, 12 strings as you know we uh, sell a lot of 12 string guitars here just absolutely the best way to build a 12 string guitar in my opinion um, carbon just is so much more stable uh, for 12 strings so much stronger 
for temperature and humidity changes, it's just the way to go for a 12 spring. It allows you to be a little bit more accurate with the setups and uh, it's just gonna last longer. Plus they sound absolutely great. I think that maybe the, the, the punchiness of the, the mid-range um, as well as the, the, the fullness of the bass in these X20s just really comes out well on a 12 string. Um, just with those octaves, I think it just really is a big rich sound. Then uh, Andrew in, uh, in the UK, in Worcestershire, um, he's got this X20 12 string and this one is uh, see, exact same model as previously, but it's got the um, uh, figured mahogany on the top. Really beautiful piece of mahogany. Uh, all this little, uh, almost like a patchwork bear claw pattern going right through it. And, uh, and also some flames, so it really has a lot of movement and depth to it. Beautiful color. And it's got an amber back and sides. So then Michael in Illinois, another X20 nylon. And um, we don't do a lot of nylons with the wood veneer on top. A lot of times we, we keep the just the carbon, but um, we've been doing more and we've, we kind of found ways that we can make that, uh, the wood veneer really work well in the nylons and it just looks stunning as well. Uh, this is a fan fret, so it's gone from, uh, from memory, I think 25 and a half to 26 and a half. On the, on the scale, so it just gives you a little bit more definition on the base side, and uh, also helps you've got a little bit extra length here in the mids as well, so um, I think it just sounds a little bit more balanced to my ear, uh, right across the register, and uh, yeah, it gives a really cool look as well. So uh, I enjoyed building this one just recently. Um, and then the amber back and sides, so very, very striking package. Then we have uh, one going out to Taiwan. Now, I apologize, I cannot pronounce your name. Uh, I, I don't want to make a bad attempt to it. Um, but check out this guitar. Wow, this is uh, just quite stunning. Um, this is Coco Bolo, and we discovered kind of recently that uh, Coco Bolo looks really good when you put a color over it. Some guitars work well, some don't, uh, or, or veneers work well uh, with a, a color. Um, but Coco Bolo does, and I think it's because it's got a lot of contrast. Uh, obviously in the in the center heartwood, it's a very light color, so the color really sits well there. But in the grain in between um, all the very dark blacks, you've got these lighter sections, and uh, works well, not with every color, but um, definitely with red, because it accentuates the, the natural colors of the, the veneer. Um, so uh, yeah, it's just really, really striking. Um, then with red carbon on the back and sides and on the bridge, uh, just has a pretty special package. So this is a, a steel string fan fret, and uh, it's got the pinless bridge. It's got a Crevo pickup system, so uh, we've got the, uh, the, the, the Crevo uh, humbucker, and then also six individual piezo saddles and, uh, and MIDI. So it's our full level three pickup system that we, we normally put on our X10. Um, then we've done a couple of uh, inlays here on the 12th and the 14th frets. Uh, I'm told they, they symbolize um, some, I think, possibly mathematical um, details. So maybe somebody can give me more clarity on that, uh, but really striking. So just overall, a, a very special guitar. Always a little bit trickier to work on when you're doing a custom and it's left-handed because you kind of have to think of everything back to front. But, um, but yeah. Definitely worth the effort. Now, here's a special one. So, it was the 4th of July last month, uh, or sorry, last week, and um, we have been doing a lot of guitars uh, with American flags at, at the request of our customers. Uh, we started off, we did one for uh, an Irish-American artist, and uh, it kind of took off from there. And it's been a really cool thing to do because we have such a great bond between uh, Ireland and the USA. Um, if you watch our shipping videos, you'll know that over half of our guitars every week go out to the USA. Uh, we're really proud of that. It's where I first got the idea to build a carbon fiber guitar when I was working there in St. Louis. I've got a lot of family out there. I've got a lot of friends there. So, And, and just historically, uh, the ties between Ireland and the USA have been really, really great. So I had this concept to try and marry the two images together. Uh, rather than just doing a guitar with an Irish flag and doing an, a, a one with an American flag, I thought we'll do it all together on one guitar and, uh, and have those 
bonding together into, uh, into hands in the center. And I've called this the hands of unity. So uh, it really represents um, our connection between the USA and, uh, and Ireland here and, uh, and our bond between us and our American customers and friends. So um, this, was, uh, this was bought up pretty fast by um, a repeat customer of ours uh, who's got a, a number of our guitars now. And um, if, uh, if it's something that you're interested in, uh, while this is an original, this is the first, uh, we will be able to make something similar. Um, I would be able to commission Phil Atkinson, who did this artwork, to, uh, to make a repeat. So if that's something that catches your eye, certainly talk to us and we could uh, we can make another original version uh, of this concept. But um, yeah, I think it really sums up a lot of what we're about. Now, next one is uh, going out to Zachary in Arizona. And uh, this is a beautiful big X30. And um, this one has been given our Graftec piezo pickups. So it's, uh, it's got that same Graftec preamp that we use uh, on the X10. Um, and it gives you that height adjustable individual piezos. Really great sounding piezo. Um, and the, the fact that there's six individual piezos just gives real definition to the, the sound and real clarity between each string. Uh, pretty incredible piece of Coco Bolo. Hard to find Coco Bolo that's wide enough to do an X30 but we do have some at the moment, and, uh, and that's a great example of it. Uh, you see all that great contrast and detail in there. And uh, yeah, quite a special one. Uh, beautiful piece on the headstock as well. It just uh, represents the, uh, the body nicely. And then again, the amber back and sides. Actually, I think it's worth maybe looking at these two together, because you can see, you know, the, the X30, is in its natural form, and this is when we put the red. So you can kind of see the the lines that have uh, that really brought brought out the red. Uh, you know, those browns surprisingly turn into a beautiful red when we put that transparent over the top. So uh, yeah, it just gives you an idea. And now, last one is a an unusual guitar for us in some ways because. This is a solid body electric. Um, if you know a little bit about our history, the, the flow base was something that we uh, had been building as a, as a production model. And um, we discontinued it, I guess about three, four years ago, uh, really so that we could focus more on our acoustic instruments. Um, it kind of sat a little bit, while it was a great instrument, it sat as a little bit of an oddity in our, in our range uh, because it was the only solid body. And uh, so we decided we would just put it on the shelf for now, but um, uh, Aaron and uh, Brandy Dorval contacted me about building one. Uh, Brandy already plays one and wanted a second. And, uh, and Aaron actually, uh, he owns the steampunk guitar that I built for him a few, few years back. So um, yeah, this one's been in the works a while. When you're not building a guitar as production, it uh, it's, can sometimes take a little bit of time to get the everything back up and running, um, you know, because all the jigs, all the things that we've set up normally aren't there. So, uh, so it took a little while to get this one through, but I think it was worth the wait. So Brandy, thanks for being so patient. I really appreciate that. Um, it's got uh, lace alumitones. Um, it's got uh, a master volume, a blend control and a tone. Um, it's, uh, it's got these uh, Babbage um, bridges here. Uh, they're uh, really, really cool bridges and uh, give a lot of adjustment and really good full contact onto the, onto the soundboard, or onto the top of the guitar. And then we've gone with this vibrant green on the back and sides. So this is our, uh, our silver weave and then with the transparent color over the top. So overall, that is just a really beautiful package. So hopefully it was worth the wait for you. Thanks for that patience on that. And uh, so that's it for this week. Beautiful set of guitars. Um, we've enjoyed building them. I hope you've enjoyed watching, uh, watching me present them to you. So um, remember, if you're interested in the custom build, uh, we've been doing a lot of custom builds recently, getting them out. We're uh, trying heavily to get caught up on all our custom work um, after our, our time off. But if you're interested in the custom build, send an email either to uh, Kevin or Chloe uh, at sales at emeraldguitars.com. 
and uh, they'll be able to help you with the process or get us on live chat or even just give us a call. Uh, we're always happy to, to talk through that and, uh, and build you a really cool custom. So uh, thanks for watching. Hope you're all well. Uh, we'll see you again next week.